Can you all please stand and help me welcome Coach Sampson, his wife Karen, and their two children, Lauren and Kellen. He's back, y'all, and the American Athletic Conference better take notice because one of the best college coaches has returned, and the Houston Cougars have become a true threat for years to come because of it. Welcome to the Campus Insider Studios. I'm Jordan Cornett. To talk more about his new program, we welcome in Houston first-year head coach Kelvin Sampson. A new era begins. That's become the rallying cry down there in Houston. Coach, what exactly does that entail, and how are you molding this program? Well, anytime a new coach takes over a program, Jordan, uh, he's going to come in with his ideas, his personality, his enthusiasm, his energy, and he's going to try to put his footprints or handprints uh, on that program. For us, it's building culture. But I really do like this team. Why? Because they're good kids and they try hard. And that's uh, uh, for all the things that we want to get into and, and, and fast forward to, it still comes down to that. It's important that a coach like his team. And it's important that um, he gets his kids to really, really try hard at, at, at what they're doing. Yeah, Coach, you know, well-documented some of those guys you lost, to Sean Thomas and Daniel House, two guys you never coached but are no longer with the program having transferred. But there are pieces there, new faces that you talked about. How do you replace those guys, and who do you expect to step up immediately for your team in your first year? It's hard, it's hard to project or predict what we'll do because we have so many guys in, in, in spots, even in positions. I mean, Devontae Pollard, for instance, was a three-man. He's playing four for us. Uh, uh, Dan, Dan Red Knowles is a, um, I don't know what he is, but he's playing five for us. Um, you know, so we, we've got a team that's going to be a little bit uh, mispositioned, if you will. But again, we are what we are. Our guys try hard. That's all I ask. Mm -hmm. We're going to lace them up, figure out who we play next, and go play. Yes, sir, Coach. Well, one face is pretty familiar. That's the one you're reunited on our sidelines with, your son. You coached yeah. him during your playing days at Oklahoma, but he also served as a grad assistant during your time at Indiana. Let's take a listen to Kellen Sampson doing his thing on the sidelines. One sec, Coach. If they want to deny us all the way to here, let them. That's just more real estate, and that's just an easier pass for J.C. J-Rod is a known cheater in this drill. Now, what would you do? If you swung it, what would you do? Now, you get through, and we set it up again. Perfect. Now, how does this work? Does he call you father? Does he call you pops? Does he call you coach? And are there any other unique nuances to the dynamic of father-son working together on the same staff? Uh, Kellen's um, uh, my son, for sure. But he's always, he's never called me uh, dad or father. Maybe as a little boy, he would say daddy. But uh, as long as I can remember, he's always called me pops. In the office, though, he's pretty good. He gets territorial with coach. He's, I'm coaching the office, and I'm pops away from the uh, office. I'll, although I don't see him a whole lot away from the office. but uh, He wants he, to get away, uh, huh, a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> you know, my, my, uh, my dad was my high school coach, Jordan, and he was, he was my mentor, my hero. Uh, he's in the North Carolina High School Coaches Hall of Fame, one, probably the best coach that I've ever been around. He, he was great at whatever he had, didn't matter how talented, or what, his team would always find a way to win. And I think that uh, of, of all the things that I learned from him uh, is to coach your team to the best of your ability and do the best you can um, and get your team to maximize their potential. Those are, a lot of people say that's coach speak, but it's really true. Yeah, you know, you coached your last collegiate game in 2008 and spent the rest of that time away coaching in the professional ranks. Do you think the college game has changed in any way? And what do you take from the pros and bring to college in your return? I think the, um, uh, a, a couple areas uh, from the pros is just uh, different ways to defend pick and rolls, whether it's the middle of the floor, uh, left side, right side. Um, um, that's changed. I'll, I'll change those things. The other thing is spacing uh, and pace. Um, you know, I think a lot of young coaches, especially if they don't have great talent, think they have to lengthen the, shorten the game by lengthening the possessions. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, I've come, being in the NBA, I I, I think more the other way now. I think the more possessions uh, that you can get, um, I think it helps your team by playing with pace because of shot selection. I think you get better shots in the first 10 seconds of the shot clock than you can the last 10 seconds of the shot clock if you play with pace and spacing. So that's something that we're, we're going to really work at. Expect an exciting style there in Houston. One of the best in the business, Coach Kelvin Sampson. Thanks for the time. Best of luck to you and your Cougars this season. Good luck to you too, Jordan. Thanks. And I appreciate being on with you. Thanks, Coach. For the best college coverage hoops-wise in the digital world, get with us at CampusInsiders.com.